Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We are here with your top secret cross watchers video. What does your lover, the person with whom you are having a connection or interaction think, feel? What do they plan? What is going on beneath the surface that you need to know? Your person wants very much to be romantic with you. This may also indicate in the recent past that you've had a romantic encounter, an evening, a date, a night. It's sort of like this person is uh, has made a picnic. There's a little blanket here. They want to like offer dinner, take you out, bring you flowers. They want to show that they love you, that they care about you. The Knight of Cups is a very, very romantic energy. Um, it does speak to the fact that because it is night energy that it's not as stable as it would be um, if it were a king or the knight of pentacles which is slow moving but this person really loves you they're falling in love with you this is but it's very beautiful romantic energy the eight of pentacles are wor really willing to work on the relationship this is how they feel about you they feel as though they don't know you well enough they want to get to know you better right now they feel they have a pretty good command you know they're they're working on themselves they're trying to be bring their best persona and who they are to the table for the relationship. They're very invested in the relationship. They are also learning something, getting to know you, getting to know all about you, getting to know how the two of you interact. You know, it's it's a transformative, very positive energy. The Eight of Pentacles is stable. The Nine of Pentacles is fruition. But this is a person, apprentice, journeyman, um, um, master, sorry about that, uh, uh, but it, what we're seeing here is a person who's highly invested in the relationship, Cancer. This person feels like they want to make love to you all night long. Eight of Wands card, this can indicate airfare, taking a vacation, making love all night, texting all day. This person finds you sexy, sexy, sexy. They have so much fun with you. You just fire them up. You get them into a place of feeling really exhilarated. When they're around you, it's almost like a little shot of adrenaline. They just feel very excited. A lot of heat, a lot of fire. This is a lot of emotion, a lot of grounded energy. I like the fact that there is, you know, this is very balanced. This person's balanced because I get earth sign energy. I get cups energy. I get wands energy and I get air sign energy. So it's really, really great energy. Your person wants to throw caution to the winds with you. They just do. They just want to go have fun with you. This person wants to toss the, the, the baton in the air and say, I, this is an enthusiastic leap of faith into the future with you. This person is a person, this is King of Cups energy. I love the Kings. The Kings in a reading really speak to maturity, the ability to give and receive love. This is a Scorpio King, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And the Scorpio King is very calm. They have been to hell and back, so to speak. The Phoenix rising from the ashes with the ability to stay calm. They tend to show you acts of love and kindness, especially with the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, instead of being really effusive, I love you, I love you, I love you. That's not this person. This person will be there for you, thick and th thin. If your tire is flat, you say, I'm, I'm eight blocks away. Can you come and help me? Instead of calling the, uh, the tow truck, this person is there. They're there at any kind of, you know, situation in your family. They're always there for you, period. You know, no matter what phase of life you're in, good, bad, or indifferent, they're there for you. The Nine of Cups, you are their happy place. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And look at this. Look at this energy. Look at that. This person's running towards you. They're, you know, they're tossing the baton in the air. They're running towards you. Eat, drink, be merry, make love, make love all night. I'm happy. I couldn't be happier. I'm joyful. You're my best friend. I want to introduce you to all my friends. I'm having a great time. Life is a party with you. 
Cancer, the star card, they think that you are a rock star. They just feel as though you're incredibly beautiful. Your inner beauty shines so brightly. Your outer beauty is phenomenal. This little string leading up to the beautiful spark, the stars in the sky. This person absolutely thinks the world of you too. They think that you are everything they could possibly want dancing on top of the world. They see you as very, very divine, very enlightened, very loving, very giving. This is Aquarius energy. They feel a sense of freedom and love with you that look at the, these freedom. This is all freedom. They feel like they have this intense love with you that is not constrained. They can love you with such intensity. Now we look at the lover's card. Now we have soulmate energy, two soulmate cards right here. The lover's card that is Gemini and Virgo energy. She has a tiny little Cupid's arrow right here on her shoulder. The two of you may be very different on the outside. You know, you could be from different cultures, different countries, different ethnicities, but you're very different and you embrace this difference with passion. You know, it really speaks to the deep, deep level of love. And you can see that the heat is swirling around them. It is a card of making a choice to step into the future with you. The Six of Cups energy is about growing old together, being very loyal, very faithful, very, and we see the starry night, you know, living up to the expectations of fidelity, but intensely and with great love and passion. So when we look at the underbelly, now this is shadow energy. This is what takes place beneath this person's conscious thought. These are, uh, it's a compendium or a, a collection of what's gone before and how they will project this energy into the future with you, okay? This is a person who has in the past been hurt. Now we see the Scorpio King. That makes sense because the Scorpio King has been to hell and back. Phoenix rising from the ashes. They had someone betray them in ways that were just uh, not even fathomable to them. They've had someone stab them in the back in ways that really put them into a period of depression in their life. You know, there it looks as though they may have even had a partner somewhere in life and I don't think they were married to this partner because I get the two of wands, which indicates possibly somebody they were engaged to, but they hadn't married yet. I get the three amigos here. I get the three of pentacles. There may have been some sort of deception or backstabbing with uh, a friend that was mutually a friend. Say you worked in a, um, you know, an a business where three of you, you know, there were two male, there's, you know, two people, three people in the business. And it basically says you work together, you consorted together. This is sort of the classic example of when somebody says to me, they had an affair with my best friend and I didn't see it. And so this person has had some sort of situation in which they were deeply betrayed with something that they never saw coming. It took them totally by, um, by surprise and it, it struck down any plans for the future. We have the beautiful strength card indicating that this person was able to overcome. They have the inner strength to face the fear because what we have here is a lion saying, you're treading on my territory. And the cobra's going, what territory? You don't own the earth. You know, I can, I can come through. I'm not bothering you and don't bother me because I'll bite you. And the lion's saying, don't come and tread on me because you know, I'll pick you up in my teeth and shake you and hurt you. So there's a healthy respect of boundaries. This person has a healthy respect for that which can hurt them and how they can hurt other people. But they have an absolutely r strong respect for having someone who is equal and willing to absolutely show up. If there's a disagreement, there's, there's no backstabbing. There's no sneakiness. They seek you out, Cancer, because you have the courage to face them head on. You have the courage to face each other in the darkest moments 
moments of relationship, you have the courage to and the strength to face off in a positive way that really says that you can solve problems. The strength card is the infinity symbol. This is Kundalini energy and this is pride and this is everything that's earthy and boisterous, but it really says that you have the power. Your person has the power to go the distance with you, even when they get frightened, even when you know they face the fear and they're doing it anyway with you. Your your advice from spirit is embrace the in-between as the relationship develops and it also says that it's time to go forward with this person hold on to your heart recognize that every now and then shadow energy may come to play but i don't really see it here there's not one card here cancer that says that this person is going to do anything that's going to hurt you even though they have this sort of history that still troubles them but that is a king of cups they've overcome it so the groundhog spirit is also they feel it's time to go with you it's time to move forward we see this big momentum here you know the horse is coming in throwing caution to the winds working on the relationship being really happy time you know time to go could almost come over here i could almost put that in the sequence there trust your intuition trust your instincts trust that this person is worthy that's how they feel about you they feel as though they can really trust you in a way that they've never trusted since this other situation happened Cindy, you love from chicago cancer have a great day send some send some love back and tell me where you're from thanks